guys welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to be t continuing on with our series on making accessible apps for apple platforms by talking about accessibility values now what is an accessibility value well an accessibility value is a string that represents the value a view contains so let's say for example, and in the examples we are going to be using today, uh, you have a stepper, whether it be an NS stepper, a UI stepper, or a stepper in SwiftUI. Each of these has a value associated with them. Or at least in UI kit and app kit they do. Now, you have to be able um, you have to be able to get this value and convey it to the user because in UI kit, the stepper doesn't express any value to a screen reader user on its own. The stepper in app kit, NS stepper, does, con does convey a value to, uh, to the user of, of voiceover. However, it conveys it as a percentage, not as uh, not as a standalone value. Now, and the reason why it's a percentage in the in the case of an NS stepper is because it own because that value is set by default to convey um, how far along between the minimum and maximum value the current value is, and that might be what you want in some cases, but in other cases it isn't. So you will have to set an accessibility value explicitly. Same thing goes for the stepper in SwiftUI. It it, uh, the behavior changes depending on what operating system it's running on, but if you're familiar with the behavior in UIKit and the behavior in AppKit, that behavior isn't going to be any surprise to you and you'll know what you'll need to change. Um, but in this video, we're going to go through how we can apply an accessibility value to a stepper in, in each framework. Now, I want you to keep in mind that this value, that this accessibility value stuff we're going to take a look at in code applies with more than just steppers but we're using the stepper as, as a simple, relatable example. All right, so let's go into Xcode here. And we're gonna start with UIKit. So what we have here to begin with is a UI stepper in the center of our screen and it has an accessibility label already set for number of students. So when the user focuses on the increment or decrement button of our stepper, they will hear that label. And we can see this if we run our code. Uh, let's see. Um, ah, okay, there we go. So you can see number of students increment button down there in the uh, little window. And then we have number of students decre decrement button. And that's fine, except for the fact that it doesn't convey any value to us. So we don't know what the value is. That is where the accessibility value comes in. So if we go back into Xcode, beneath where we have our accessibility label, we're going to set the initial accessibility value for the stepper. So we'll say stepper dot accessibility value. And you can see it's a string. We'll set this equal to the string representation of our 
stepper's value. But we want to format that number first, so that way we're not reading a bunch of zeros. And I already have a formatter where the minimum and maximum uh, fraction digits are set as well as the number style. This can be whatever you, whatever you need it to be. Um, but I just have it set for something um, pretty sensible for a number of students stepper. So we'll say formatter dot string force unwrap that from ns number with a value of stepper dot value. Now let's save this and run our code. We have a failure. So let's see what we did. Ah. Okay, let's ch correct this. From, there we go. Run that. Now our build was successful. All right. So now we get number of students increments 10 and number of students decrements 10. That's, uh, that's exactly what we want to happen th thus far. However, if you increment and decrement the value, The, val the accessibility value doesn't change, but the value of the stepper does. Now, the reason for this is because we didn't say to change the accessibility value when the value itself changes. And so we can do this by, uh, by using its action property and defining a selector, which I've already done if we go back into Xcode, we should, you can see we have a target, so we're saying stepper at target, and our value changed method is what we're going to be using to set the accessibility value to, a, to its new value every time it changes. We can go all the way down here to the bottom, You can see my formatter. And here is our value changed method. This takes in a stepper because we need to be able to retrieve the current value of our UI stepper. So inside of this method, we will say stepper dot accessibility value equals formatter dot string from ns number with a value of stepper dot value like that we can save this and run it Let it do its thing here. All right, so here we are. Now, when we increment or decrement the value, now we get a new value of nine, 13, we get 28. And so that is how we can allow for an accessibility value in UIKit. It's pretty simple, much like with accessibility label, you just assign a value to, uh, to, a, uh, to a property on the view itself. Nothing too bad. Now, what about SwiftUI? Well, SwiftUI is even simpler in its own way. So let's go into SwiftUI. 
Right now, I have a stepper set up where we're calling an increment and decrement function, or method rather, that handles incrementing and decrementing the value. We have a value state property, but I, but if you're familiar with SwiftUI, which you should be, the stepper doesn't actually take a binding to a value. So we have to be the ones to manage that value ourselves, which we're doing here. Now, by default, because SwiftUI forces us to include a label for our steppers, it already has that being used as our accessibility label. So if we run our code as it stands at the moment in SwiftUI, we get number of students increment button and number of students decrement button. And that is the reason why we have number of students there is again, we were forced in the initializer to give a label in the way of a closure that returns a view to be used as its label. In this case, it's a text view that we're using. But we're not being given an accessibility value. So what gives? How do we change this? Well, what we can do is apply the accessibility value modifier to our stepper. Now you can see this takes in a text view. And this text view is going to contain that value that represents uh, this this value is pretty much going to represent, um, you know, the value of our stepper. So we'll say text and inside of here, instead of an empty string, we're going to say n s number with a value of, let's say, value and then we can say comma formatter, formatter, like that. Let's save that and run it. Replace that. There we go. And now we get number of students increment 10 button. Let's go ahead and increment this value. Now we get now we get 17. Let's decrement that value. And now we get six. So let's kind of go over what it is that we did here. So in our code, we have our accessibility value modifier being attached to our stepper. And we're giving it a text view. If you're unfamiliar with this initializer for, for text view, what, it, what it's doing is it's taking something that that inherits from ns object which ns number does and we're applying a for, a formatter of some kind uh, to it so it could be a date formatter or it could be a number formatter or something like that in this case where it is a number formatter and in order you know we can't just say oh we want to apply this formatter to um, to our value outright because again this parameter must inherit from ns object which ns number does so this so that's what formats our uh our number our, our our value 
and it will convey that to assistive technology. Okay, so that is how we can apply an accessibility value in uh, in SwiftUI. What about AppKit? Well, let's go ahead and we want to find our AppKit code. So as a, so, what we have right now in AppKit, excuse me, is we have an NS stepper that increments by one and does all that. Uh, it has an accessibility label of number of students. So if we go up above, we can see where we're setting this from. Okay. All right. So you can see here we have stepper dot set accessibility label, and we're setting it to the string number of students. Again, in the accessibility label video, I mentioned that we had to use the set accessibility label method instead of saying accessibility label as a property. Uh, and that's because of the NS accessibility protocol protocol. Uh, so, how then do we set an accessibility value? Well, it's the exact same process. So, below our label here, what we'll do is we'll say stepper dot dot set accessibility value and now this can be anything but we're going to make it a string representation of our of the, of the value for our stepper so we'll say formatter dot string from ns number with a value of stepper dot double value. And we can force unwrap that, save it, and when we run our code, not even incrementing or decrementing the value, we get 10. It's no longer interpreted as a percentage. But we can increment and decrement the value all we want. The accessibility value isn't going to change while the internal value of the stepper does. So again, much like in UIKit, we need to manually change the accessibility value ourselves. And we can do this using the target method that, uh, that, we've, that we've set up previously here. So inside of my configuration code, you can see that I set up an action method. So stepper.action equals selector value changed. And this method will run every time the value changes. So if we go down to the bottom of our view controller, I have this value changed method here. It takes in an NS stepper because we need to be able to get the current value of the stepper calling this method. And inside of here, we can say stepper dot set accessibility value and in here we will say formatter dot string from ns number with a value of stepper dot double value like that save it run it
we get ourselves a successful build. Now we get 10 here, which is fine. Now we get 9, 11, da 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 da. And now every time the value increases or decreases, we get that updated accessibility value announced to us. Pretty neat. All right. So that is how we can set an accessibility value in AppKit. Now I do want to mention that if you want to simply retrieve the accessibility value of a control, you have to use the accessibility value method. Just remove set from, from the call and pass it nothing and it will return an optional any, um, to, which it'll give you that value, but you need to then cast it to the type that you uh, need to use for uh, whatever purposes you're using it for. All right. So that pretty much does it for this video on accessibility values. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.